dear students welcome you all to my channel ICT hub today we are going to discuss about flow charts what are flow charts features and the uses of flow charts in computer science we can also integrate flow charts with other subjects like mathematics geography history and science we define the importance of flow charts while representing any solution to a problem a program or a sequence or a process the second topic is algorithms what are algorithms what is the link between flowchart and algorithms with examples how they help in problem solving then we will discuss about the symbols of flowcharts we use standard flowchart symbols for drawing flowcharts they are used with the help of examples we are supposed to use standard flowchart symbols while drawing a flowchart we will see different flowchart examples in this video let's start with the first topic of the video a language for expressing algorithms so the first question is what algorithm. is algorithm a lengthy or a difficult problem is divided into smaller or easy parts in a sequence so it is called an algorithm it is also called a pseudo code which is used in artificial intelligence or fifth generation language to develop programs it is quite easy for the programmers to write the english like uh, words or the english like code to write the difficult code in any other language it is like natural language or english like words so it is quite easy to use algorithms or to write this complex problem into smallest steps or in chunks to make a to solve a difficult problem so it is used in problem solving technique it is a step by step procedure to solve a difficult problem to divide the problem into smaller chunks and then to solve that problem flow charts flow charts are basically a diametric uh, representation of an algorithm they use simple geometric shapes and symbols to define relationship flow chart symbols are linked together with arrow showing the process flow direction they are useful during algorithm design a graphical and basically it is the graphical or the pictorial representation of an algorithm they are also called block diagrams flow diagrams system charts procedural charts run diagrams and logic charts these are different names of the flow charts the flow charts are not the programming languages rather it is an algorithm specification language because these are the graphical or the pictorial representation of an algorithm it defines the steps for input output processing computation and results and each type of computation operation is denoted by a special symbol in the flowchart language symbols are connected by arrows to represent the order of the operation or the flow or the direction of that operation here you can see we have different symbols that are used in flow chart the first symbol is an arrow symbol it is used to indicate the flow of logic by connecting symbols it is used to show the flow or the direction of the flow chart then an oval shaped symbol which is called the start stop symbol used to repeat start and end of flow chart a parallelogram used for input output operation a rectangular box is used for processing or for operations like arithmetic operations and data manipulation a diamond symbol or a decimal box is used in which there are two alternative true and false operations where we have a condition and according to the condition the arrow or the flow moves to the towards the yes or the no direction a connector a circular shape is used to join multiple flow lines into a single flow line it is used for joining the flow lines 
let's have a look on the first example of a flow chart this is basically a simple flow chart here you can see that the start stop symbol is same and then we have taken the input in the form of number one number two and the third variable is the sum variable then the user will enter number one and number two by the input operation and the sum will be stored in the sum variable by computation then it will display the results or the sum at the end it will stop processing okay example number two here you can see an algorithm is written on the basis to convert the length in feet to centimeter so first we have to take the input in length in feet Calculate the length in centimeter by multiplying length into feet with 30. Print length in centimeters. Here you can see the flow chart according to the algorithm. In the third example, the algorithm is designed to read two sides of a rectangle and calculate its area. So first we have to take the input, the width and length of a rectangle. Then we will cal calculate the area by multiplying length multiply width. Print. Here you can see the flowchart according to this algorithm. First we will input width and length. And the area is calculated by length multiply width. Then we will print area and stop computation. That's it for today's lesson. Thank you so much for watching my video. Like and subscribe my channel and don't forget to click on the bell icon for more videos.